Hello there, welcome back to another edition of Pimp My Filter and in this episode we're going to be taking a look at a very, very common filter. It's also a very popular one as well. And this is the Fluval U2. Before I get started I just want to say a big thank you to Farad who sent me this. I'll get this back to you today once I've finished filming this video. And this filter has quite a lot of cool features, some of which are better than others. So let's bring the camera in and take a close look at it. Okay, so that's our filter. If you want to see the full features of it, see it running and so on, just check out one of the Fluval videos. I will put a link in the video description. But basically this is an internal filter, which sticks on the side, draws in through here and here spits out through here, here, or here. So you've got multiple outlet options there. And this top one has an adjustable air intake to give you a stream of bubbles. And to alter where the water comes out, you simply adjust this. You do have three settings. So you've got one for top, one for bottom, and one for middle. Now before we take a look in there, I'll just show you the back of this, because this is quite a good design. That lifts off. There you go. So you can leave this stuck to the side of the tank and take your filter away for cleaning. I like that idea. And it fits together pretty well. You know, that's not going to fall off. Just a quick note on the outlets whilst we're here. We've got a little adjuster here. And we've got one here, so potentially you could have both of these on, the water firing that way from that one, or the water firing that way from that one, to give you a good turnover. Right, let's take a look inside. In here we've got three removable cartridges. The two side ones are exactly the same. And they're for our mechanical and chemical filtration. And this middle one is for our biological filtration. So let's start with the two outer cartridges. As I say, they're both exactly the same. We'll take that one out the way. And this one, it's a little cap, drops off the bottom. And in here, um, we've actually got a sponge that's a little bit too small. I think ordinarily these coarse sponges come the full size of this cartridge. So just imagine that the full size. So we've got a coarse sponge in there. That's where the water hits first. It goes through the coarse sponge and then it hits the fine part of this carbon cartridge and then it goes through the carbon. So that's our mechanical, that is our chemical. And that's really, really easy to fit in there. The cap just holds it on. Obviously you don't need to buy the Fluval replacement parts, you can get compatible ones online to save yourselves a little bit of money. But that's two cartridges which cleans the water and one cartridge which should make the water healthy. And in here you would have the tiniest amount of a ceramic media called Biomax. It's not a bad media, but there's not much of it at all. Right, so now you're probably thinking, oh, he's going to do something really clever with this. I've been looking forward to this video for long enough. Well, you're going to be sorely disappointed because there's not actually much you can do to this to Im improve its functionality and effectiveness. And the way it's laid out is good. The cartridges are easy to remove and take away. I'm not generally a fan of, like, manufacturer only replacement parts but the, the fluval stuff is good it works well you know i would say go for the compatible ones that you can get online they are a hell of a lot cheaper basically just get a carbon impregnated pad and a medium grade foam in each section of these and that would do it the central section where your media is get another small bag of fluval biomax if you want pack this out, you know, put as much filter media in there as possible. Don't think it's going to be enough to make a real big difference to the quality of your water, but every single piece of media does help. 
And therefore, in this little blue coffin that's used for our biological filter media, we can fit 95 grams of bio gravel in there. Now that packs in a lot neater than the Biomax and it will max out that particular compartment but it's, it's not going to make a whole heap of difference to the quality of your water if I'm being brutally honest. And that's not because this media is no good, it's simply because there isn't enough of this media. There you go, that's our little blue coffin absolutely racked out with bio gravel. That's about as packed as it can possibly get. And I've got to say, those cartridges slot in there really, really well. You know, it's a well designed filter, this one, very well designed. But what happens if you smash one of these or you lose it or you don't want to keep paying for the replacement parts? Well, as I say, you can just put medium grade foam and then a carbon pad. Medium grade foam, carbon pad, that'll do. That'll do exactly the same job and it'll actually probably give you a little bit more surface area for settlement than these little cartridges as well. Or if you didn't want to bother with the cartridges at all, you could simply cut a couple of pond foams. I've got a coarse one here, a medium one here. Cram those down the sides. They do exactly the same job. And I mean, you can see there, that's a canny size. You know, there's a lot of settlement area there. Obviously, if you use these, you're losing your carbon. But really, if your water's pretty decent anyway, and you don't need to draw in heavy metals or any um, residual fish treatments or colour from bogwood or anything like that, you don't really need the carbon anyway. You know, it always needs replacing every seven to eight weeks. So if you're sticking with this cartridge system, every seven to eight weeks, you need another one of these cartridges. And given that the filter is gonna last a good few years, that works out expensive. So here we go, just cram that in there. Making sure that the inner part is just up to the top. And you've got something that's doing exactly the same job as the foam in there. Well, actually, a better job than the foam in there for a small fraction of the cost. As I say, if you want to stick with the cartridge system, by all means stick with it. It does work, but it does get expensive after a while. The Biomax is a reasonable media. I'm going to pack that little blue coffin out, double or even triple up on this stuff because there's nowhere near enough in there. I mean, God, they'll be lucky if there's 20, 30 grams there, you know, next to nothing. Or put the bio gravel in, you can pack it out very well with that. There's not a whole heap of options available to you when you've got an internal filter, but there is options, some options. So there you go, that's the Fluval U2. I don't think the U1 has any provision for biological media. I know the U3 and the U4 does, so, I would imagine that the setup for those is exactly the same. They're a decent filter, they're reasonably priced as well. I think the normal selling price is somewhere between 30 and 35 English pounds, which will be about $40. Actually, the probably is a little bit cheaper in America because most things are. So they're not badly priced. A decent amount of mechanical filtration, provision for chemical filtration if needed, and a welcome amount of biological media. Not outstanding though, but welcome, because there's a lot of these internal filters make no provision whatsoever for any biological media. Okay, just a few facts and figures on the Fluval U2. As I said, it was between 30 and 35 English pounds to buy. It pumps approximately 400 liters per hour, which is a reasonable flow. That is 105 US gallons per hour. The biological media inside it is a micro amount of Biomax, which is a reasonable media. Or you can fit 95 grams of bio gravel in there. It's rated for between 45 litres to 
110 litres. So there's no way on earth you're ever going to get a full cycle if you've got a tank that's 110 litres, unless it's mostly plants and a few tiny little fish. 45 litres, yeah, uh, yeah, I would say a normally stocked tank. That would be a good filter somewhere between 45 to 60 litres. Unless you've got goldfish, which need a hell of a lot more filtration. And that recommendation of 45 to 110 litres from Fluval is approximate to 12 to 30 US gallons. As I said, there's no way it's going to properly filter a 30 gallon tank unless you've got hardly any fish in and it's full of plants. But for a 12 to 15 US gallon tank, that's a good filter. But Fluval obviously think about the design of their filters and this is a well designed filter. The cartridges fit in there very well, they're in more or less the right order as well. I would prefer to see it mechanical, biological, chemical, but mechanical, chemical, biological is okay, that's not a problem. Basically as long as you've got the mechanical filtration first, it's all good. I like the fact that you can just lift it off take it away to clean it. I like the fact that it's got variable outlets. I like the fact that it's got a decent draw area here and a decent draw area here as well. I like the idea that you can access it from the top so you can just leave it in position, slide your cartridges out, take them away and clean them, and slot them back in without even removing the filter from the tank. It's a good filter. If you're interested in it, I'll put the link to it in the video description. And if you've got a filter you'd like to send me, by all means, please get in touch. My email address and phone number is in the video description and in the pinned comment. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.